Hi everyone, we're going to use the principle of mathematical induction to show that the given statement is true for all natural numbers n by satisfying two conditions. The first condition is we have to check for when n is 1. So that means my first term, and when I plug in 1, it should equal the sum of my first term, which is this one term. So it should equal 2. So I'm going to plug in 1 into this equation, or the sum here, and you get 1 plus 1, so 1 times 2 is 2. So that checks. Now for condition 2, um, what we're saying is, if it works for some natural number k, so I'm going to write it as such. So for some natural number k, then it should work for the next term, which is k plus 1. So what I'm going to do is copy um, this down again. It's going to be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus dot 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 plus 2k. And then we're going to write the next term. And the next term is we're going to write the, this term and substitute k plus 1, which gives you 2k plus 2. All right? And then on this side, we're just adding 1. So after k comes k plus 1. After k plus 1 is k plus 2. You're just adding 1 to the, this portion. All right. So now what I'm going to do is uh, substitute. I know that this portion equals um, that sum. So I'm going to write k times k plus 1. Then I'm going to add my next term which is 2k plus 2. And we want it to equal this over here. k plus 1 times k plus 2. So I'm going to clean this up. You get k squared plus k plus 2k plus 2. This is uh, k squared plus 3k plus 2. And then you factor and you get k plus 1 times k plus 2. Now, actually, when you do these, you can kind of look and see what it's supposed to look like. You could also, on this side, you could have foiled this. You get k squared plus k plus, uh, no, this would have been, sorry. Can't even foil. All right, 2k plus k plus 2. And this would have been k squared plus 3k plus 2. So those two match. So you could either match it that way or factored and matched it that way. So the left side should look like the right side. So we have proven condition 1 and condition 2. This means that um, which is what had to be proven. And um, since condition 1 and 2 hold, um, the given statement is true for all natural numbers in. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.